That is a gorgeous walk along the Bow River. We'd love to do it, but we're in the curling bubble. You can do it. You can also watch your coverage next of the Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship on TSN. Enjoy the walk, ladies. You are Canadian champions. She has a perfect record. Three trips to the Scotties, three championship winning walks. Shannon Burchard is hoping her hot streak will continue over into mixed doubles. It was a rough start for the newly crowned Briar winner. Bobby and Brendan were flat in their first game. Can they rebound this morning? Sauter and Botcher. Burchard and Schneider. Draw six from the Kurtick bubble is next. And that is a shot just moments ago. GoPros, Kathy and I sprinting to try not be late for this feature. As it is day two and the first of three games on TSN, the home hardware Canadian mixed doubles curling championship at Windsport Arena. Some scores from draw five last night and former champs Walker Myers. They pick up a win. Same for Kitts and Clybrink, 7-3 winners out of Nova Scotia, Jones Everest. 9-4 victory and Miskew and Fry stealing a win 10-8 in Pool D. All right, we made it. We're inside the building. Hi, everybody. Brian Mudrick joined by Kathy Gochi. Glad you're watching our continuing coverage here on TSN. And all Shannon Bircher does is show up to the Scotties and win championships. She's three for three, but now focusing on mixed doubles with Catlin Schneider, their second appearance, and they won their opener. Well, they did, and Shannon said in a post-game interview that one of the things that they have going for them is a great sense of communication. Even though it's only two Canadian championships, they played together for an additional year. Knowing how to share information is so key in mixed doubles, and they have that. They were 6-3 and three together in 2019 in Fredericton. Meantime, Brendan Botcher playing with Bobby Sauter, and Brendan admitting it was awesome winning that briar, but he's maybe a little emotionally exhausted, and he's got to try find a way to park that. The one thing he does have experience on this ice as Bobby is still finding her legs here in this format. Well, we saw yesterday, probably not the game that Bobby Sauter wanted to have. The struggles that she had were those in-between weights, the hack and the bumper. Those were the things that every single player at the Scotties and the Briar struggled with to find in the first couple of days. I think the one game will make a huge difference. It's going to be a great run. We got 35 teams. The top four will make that page playoff and next Thursday will crown a champion. First Rock coming up next on TSF. So it has one right now. Yeah! You make it four. four. Oh. You got one. Oh, boy. Get through. You got it's four. Four, <laughs> four yes. is a charm for Brendan Botcher. The Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship is brought to you by Scotty's, Sponge Towels, Purex and Cashmere. Proud sponsors of Canadian Curling for 40 years. By OK Tire and BKT Tires. By New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. And by Home Hardware. Here's how. Second straight Canadian Championship. Glad you're with us on this Friday morning. It is time to meet the teams. Brought to you by Home Hardware. Here's how. And there is Shannon Bircher teaming up with Catlin Schneider. Shannon will throw rocks one and five in our feature this morning. And out of the Savile Community Sports Center in Edmonton, it is Bobby Snyder and Brendan Botcher, the recent Briar champion in the bubble. Botcher throwing rocks two, three, and four, and Snyder throwing rocks one and five. As we bring you inside Windsport Arena, and there you see that is the setup for mixed doubles. The team with Hammer has the redstone back four, the center line guard, and that means Burchard and Schneider earning the Hammer this morning. So to start off our coverage in our feature, it is Bobby Sauter throwing the yellow stones. And in trading messages with Brendan Botcher last night, Kathy, the one thing wider? he said, it is always awesome and rewarding to play with your partner, and they're obviously partners off the ice, but he said they have to do a better job at reading the ice conditions early. They were flat in their opener, and they have to do a better job of that today. 
You know, it's interesting. Yesterday we said the advantage was to teams that had been in the Scotties and the Briar, and there still is a lot of merit. But the risk was that you assume that the conditions will be exactly the same. And we saw many people get caught, including Brendan, on placement of the broom and also the speed. So much talk yesterday about how fast the ice conditions are, quicker than the Scotties or the Briar. So need to adjust. No, 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 no. Back four. Tons of room. No, it's a little hot. Shannon coming off that exciting Scotty's win with Carrie Back Anderson eight. in the bubble. And they will be Team Canada as we will have a women's worlds this year, which is outstanding news for them and for the sport with the Olympics right around the corner in China. I can't believe it, You're Kathy. February 8th, 4th, 2022. Oh, it will begin in Beijing. Kay. It's coming fast. Something for you. You like this turn? I do, yeah. I was throwing here, but I think that's too much for you. Yeah, I'd like middle. So a good reflection of knowing releases of each other. Line should be good. I'm close. Four-time oh. medalist, but boy, that gold line feels great. good, doesn't it? Made four consecutive Briar finals yep. and finally broke through in the bubble this hard. year. Well, you talk about the mental exhaustion from not only skipping his team to that championship, but even earlier, you know, we can't really throw a lot. Are we going to be the Alberta rep? Then you get here and dealing with the incredible field that was assembled. He has to be exhausted. I got a 14 and a half on his. Hey. And much like this team, Shannon having a lot of time in the bubble on the ice, successful winning the Scotties, and Catlin Schneider comes into the bubble, winning that bronze last year for Team Saskatchewan in Kingston with Matt Dunstone. Wait's close. I was lying. Yep. Yep. Hard. 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 Keep going. Hard. And that'll get the heart rate going this morning for Catlin. Welcome to the morning draw. That's six. Well, for Bobby Sauter, we talked about a little bit of a struggle oh, yesterday, her first time out, and so it is that in between, those hack and bumpers, trying to throw the exact right weight. But what she did wonderfully was make some great draws to the forefoot, but needs to find some access. So make sure that you have a path. Like if I threw it here, he'd rattle it and it would nut. Okay. Uh, edge? Got to be close, yeah. We saw this sheet yesterday. This wide intern runs for a long time, but when it takes a break, it really, really goes. Line should be good. Looks a little hot. Wait, good. Looks a little hot. Wait, close. I'm expecting it to. You got no line. Yeah. Sorry, I was expecting it to die a little out there. It's okay. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Well, That's for okay. Shannon Burchard and run. Catlin yeah, Schneider, they yeah. talked already about how they feel they have an edge on some other teams because they communicate so well together. So use that to your advantage. And Catlin Probably said it's yellow, been 14 months since he played at a high level. And so shake off that rust. That was your opportunity yesterday. And go forward from there. Keys to the game brought to you by Purex Bathroom Fair Tissue, life. an obvious choice for Western Canadians for over 95 years. As Catlin will drive the centerline guard by, open things up. They do have no. hammer here in one shot stone right on that home that hardware button wrong. belonging to Kate. Sauter and Botcher. Yep. This turn? I think so. Oh, sorry. Thanks for people paying attention. <laughs> To me, that looks 
like lots. You think that'll get there? Do you like that better? Yeah, I do. Yeah, we touched upon it off the top of the show. Finally winning that Briar tankard. And Line in messaging okay. last night, Hold Brendan admitting Wait, it's good. he's a bit emotionally okay. drained. However, he said he's got to get back to business in his words. He's got to find that better headspace because he's here to win. This isn't, you yes. know, the parade after the briar. This is, it's back to business. He's a competitive guy. And him and Bobby have worked hard at this coming in. And he wants Good. to show up and perform. And that's the plan what story like? today. Like heavy board? Well, it is a national championship. And hit like three quarters of the red. And as a competitor, you always want to win. Shooter probably to there. Yeah. Either one. If I hit it thick, roll the other one. Yeah. They need to move that. It, in fact, is their own stone that's in their way because of that little bit of overcurl. That straight back is really, really tough. And if you happen to go by the yellow, you're going to be jamming it on your own. And so wanting to move things around. Now, we'll always be shot at the end of this. Nothing saying it. Yep. Gatlin in his fourth appearance Hard. at Canadian Mixed Doubles. Hard. He played twice with Nancy Hard. Martin in 2016 and 2017. A five and three record and a three and four record. So that red stone may be usable now, the slash. Boy, that curled more than they thought. Just that down weight, great brushing by Catlin to get by that center guard. You were yep. trying to hit it on the other side. No. That's not helpful for us. No. I mean, if she's if anything, light, you want to stay on that wider path. Yeah. And kind of freeze three quarters high on it. Hey. Yeah, unless I like really overcurled on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really straight there. Like you're in a run. Mm -hmm. Dead. It's really thin. It's like thin quarter. Catlin lining up the run into the four foot area, depending on what Bobby does. I like it. Maybe a little light. Full line. Line's great. Full line if you can. Gotta curl a ton. It'll get there. There it goes. Right to it. Cross it if you can. Well, you talked about her draw weight That's in the a very good shot. opening draw. That is a great shot and a nice one for Bobby Sauter. Very nice. I wasn't getting rid of this one this way. Yeah. Well, he close. Like he knows it. It's probably one here, but it's a little tight to get to the nose, yeah. anyways. How do you play that? It's super thin, though. Yeah, that's tough to, like, you got it right onto here. Yeah. You can throw it hard. I mean, it's there, but it's not easy. It's like, could, could you, I don't think you can ever really get rid of both your reds, unless you're hitting it here. But that's. You could try it. Yeah, whatever you're good There's with. No Are you conceding there. one here, Kathy, or can you score at all? It's, as, as it's going to be really tough yeah. to score. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to curl at all. I think you throw it where you want to hit it. Hit it right there. There will be some drag across the bottom. But you heard Catlin say his bigger fear is that Shannon, you know, if she happens to hit it wrong, does that. And all of a sudden there's four yellow. But that's not something you want to plant in your head. Hey, Chan, give her a go. All right. This is not easy. Mm -hmm. Pretty thin. It's very thin. Front end player for Carrie Eaters in the last few years, but a former skip. And she's good with these upweight shots. Shannon was always known as a great hitting skip. Oh, oh. So five yep. stone here and one in yep. some trouble. Hard. Shannon Burchard, Gatlin hard. Schneider. Hard. 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 The angle slash. And can she pick out the yellow? Gets a moving and one. spins up wow. and scores the single. What a shot. Shannon Burchard. Wow. <laughs> uh, wasn't exactly as they were playing it, but you don't have to call it. This is not snooker. 
catches it so, so thin, but actually uses her own to bounce That's back. No pictures of the scorecard. Lovely touch from the three tap Scotty's jam, and they find a way to score in the first. The third time the Canadian mixed doubles curling championship held in Alberta, as Leduc played host twice in 2013 and then again in 2018. It is our third event, season of champions under the bubble. After a successful Scotties and Tim Hortons Briar, and now it is the home hardware Canadian mixed doubles curling championship taking center stage. So a wonderful shot in the first end. Shannon Burchard, the angle slash. Got some action, spins up and collects her singles. So here in two, it is Sauter and Vacher with hammers really from the Yellow Stones. Hi, girl. Well, we are already seeing this morning day two and a couple of games in. Teams more comfortable with the ice. Well, that Great draw like by like Bobby to force that shot by Shannon. Just biting top four. Maybe middle? I hard. said it a bit at the end. I'm going to throw six first, so give me at least a middle. Okay. And I'll throw a little extra and we'll let it come in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this is my draw the button path. Okay, I think you're minimum. Okay, I think line's Good great. look at the stones there and still no eye in the I hog chips or technology. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Part of the shortage ahead. with go COVID, ahead. et cetera. So it's back to sportsmanship and officials watching. Shot. Other action across the sheets of ice. Weagle epping a one nothing advantage over Ashley Quick and Mike Armstrong in their six nationals together. Meantime, it is Des Haas, Tyler Tardy, a one nothing advantage over Greg Smith and Mackenzie Mitchell. As we saw Mackenzie at the Junior Nationals in Langley, yeah, really a four like and six bit, record, and of course, out. Greg Smith in his second Briar appearance. Earlier during the Tim Hortons Briar this good. year. Okay, yeah, gotta go now, go. gotta go. Yep, hard then. <laughs> hard, line straight. Okay, wait pretty good too. Okay, well. Just for line. Yep, 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 yep. Don't want to easy, yet. Easy, easy. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what a great shot of how much these stones finish with draw weight. 13-7. This is the run back. You get red onto the nose of the yellow. Both of those reds in the forefoot could go. Brennan also played mixed doubles with Dana Ferguson in 2017. Drives it by and clips the one red, but it is still Schneider Birdshirt lying one and two. Yeah. Just try and talk a quarter. Yeah, I'm gonna need less ice because it, it doesn't was, have the time to finish it. Yeah. And then it just broke. Yeah. Sorry. I thought it was great. Okay. A little unfortunate result. Yeah. Well, and you feel so helpless, you throw it, and normally with the great brushers that Brendan has, if you want to keep it straight, they'll keep it straight for you. Wait's good. Okay, line's nice. So one thing, I had a Pass conversation with Brent can. Lang last night, wait and if you can. we'll have yeah, one of his wait. features with Jennifer Jones later on today, but yeah, to he said a lot of the world-class skips, and Brendan Botcher have world-class front ends, and you get spoiled you do. by the sweeping, and then you come <laughs> out here in mixed doubles, and... More. Maybe they can save a couple stones, and it's just not the same. It's a little more lonely out here. Gal turn with peel. Try and get through there. I like it. Well, that yep. is a tiny hole as you uh, look between you the two guards to try to come through. It looks bigger from this angle, but if you were to put a curling stone in between the red and the yellow, there would not be a lot of space on either side. So expect some heat on this out turn from Brendan Botcher. Okay. Riding the line, and he'll clip the red high guard. Okay. 
Well, and it's tough. It's one of those st stones that you really do need sweepers for to try to keep it straight when you're trying to get so precise. Team would have been on it to try to pull it back off that center line, but in the absence of sweepers, it does get that little bit of movement. Or wait, you're right. There's and the guard. Curl through there. It's not quite as high centered as it was, I think, earlier. Yeah. Weight's good. Okay. Here, more weight. Queen, just really clean. good. Pass the curl still. Let it catch. Weight's nice. Line's getting better. Line's good. Probably yep. doesn't have just to clean. curl, does it? Just clean. No, it's fine. Just clean. Yep, a bit at the end. Yep, a little bit. Good. Very Huge nice. finish. Lovely throw. Three quarters. And so for Brendan, yeah. another run back in order, trying to use his own so that really, if he's able to get it right on the nose of yep. the yellow, both you red go away and could lie to. I do. Yeah, me too. I do. Close. Run back drive, Red and Botcher. And the Reds disappear. Great shot from the Briar nice. Champ. Try it. Great. Almost hung around with the run. Right. Try to roll in here. Stone yeah. as well. Just remove it. I'd say throw first. Very nice. Really nice. Thanks. Ooh, even that one curled a little bit, and I was pretty aggressive, I thought. Yeah. Perfect. Like we angle. had it perfect until the hog line. Mm -hmm. And then it came up a bit. Yeah. I just want to go out there and sweep for everybody. I just, it's so hard because so I'm not holding you back. Hey, listen, <laughs> here's a broom. There's the door. Okay. <laughs> you know, it is such a skill. And we talk so often in the team sport about the saves. There's no way to show in the stats that brushers, you know, get stones to the forefoot for the extra point or keep stones straight. And that is such a division between oh. team and mixed doubles. The, inability to oh, have no, that no, you no. can sometimes have one sweeper you see catlin just knows good good shot pardon i'm just gonna draw. curl a little hey. at the end hey just a hair just ran back and then curled it yeah the thought it uh and you heard the comment from yeah. bobby yeah bobby she's gonna draw for, for her single she could yeah. try and blank that's, the end not, yeah, he made not a lot of blanks yeah. in so Mixed doubles. Usually he'll see your first rock at the end. fairly high-scoring games, but not so here in end yeah, number two. Perfect. And obviously the shot from Brendan Botcher helped. He certainly cleaned house with a run back. Okay. I'll just let you know what path we're in. I guess it carried pretty good. But... So I'm assuming just a comfort level shot here, Kathy. Does it feel comfortable? with the blank or is there some strategy here do you want to score well the reality is that if they don't score blanking and mixed is not encouraged Wait, and you lose last one. rock right. advantage Wait, if you don't so Line's if you're you going to lose to last rock line. advantage why not Wait, take good. a point in the process Line's good. Wait's good Good shot. And again, that wonderful weight that we that saw from her yesterday. <laughs> no. A couple nice draws yeah, in our feature already yeah. from Bobby yeah. Sauter as we have a 1-1 one -one yeah. tie here in Calgary. Welcome back to Calgary. Brian Mudrick, Kathy Goche with you in our feature. Bobby Sauter, Brendan Botcher taking on Shannon Burchard and Catlin and Schneider. And both teams picking up singles. And really a lovely run back from Brendan Botcher to get his team out of trouble. And then again, Bobby Sauter, nice draw weight to get the single. So here in three, it is Bertrand Schneider, Hammer, throwing the Redstones. Just trying to get that stone to move that extra little bit over. Uh -oh. Still think just probably straight draw. Just top, top button?
Mine's good. Hey, wait to be close. She certainly has See a unique right release, now. doesn't she? She does. sets the clock and releases the stone. See? Mine's good. No, that's Come not taught in any curling clinic, but for no Shannon worries. has really perfected I it. it. I got it. Yeah. T -t -t -t. No, 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 what no. does that ensure? More rotation, Kathy? What do you get out of that sort of delivery or release? Well, I honestly think that Shannon hasn't done that. This is something that I've, as long as I've I watched like Shannon curl YouTube. through juniors, it's what yeah, she's done. I don't know that it's something that she ever tried to do to put more rotation on the stone coming into arena play. It's just how she learned. And for her, it would absolutely put rotation on, but the more you play with the stone, the bigger the risk good. that you will set it's it out close. or it get it going in. Pitch heavy for top four. Just doesn't have the path. Yeah. No. That extra ice just doesn't get there. Ugh. I'd like to hit and roll in, make yeah. the double, yeah? Or even just... Just like a control? Yeah, normal. This is six, so. Okay. Edge your rock normal? Yep. So clearly they would have done their homework on the stones. Shannon oh, yep. has been here, and we've seen yep. Captain before at oh. Briars. Are these the same yep. stones as the Briar last year as well? Or this is from this year's. This is from yeah, this from year's Scotty's Briar and, and Scotty. Go, Shannon. Go, go, go. No, I just want to so play. Shannon for sure would have the inside edge on the stones here in the bubble. You like the intern now? We're getting no, curl in that spot, like, hey? Like, like, even with I threw like wild. firm there almost. Yeah. Okay. No, we typically don't see that. I'm sorry. Yeah. I like little just like middle. Mm -hmm. Less than your last, same as the first end. You yeah. had mentioned yeah. that there's okay. an advantage to having been here. Greg Owasco, it's his ice, but what you noticed and what we noticed, Kathy, in our opening day coverage is how slick it was. It faster. was a little bit faster, wasn't it? It's definitely quicker than we saw in team play. I think still this side, hey? No one the out either. Other one's fine. Yeah. The thing is, they know the out, right? Yeah. So I think if we somewhat take that away. Okay. Think like a 14 2, 14 3 is close. Okay. So Catlin's saying they know that turn or this mm -hmm. turn in particular. So. Just take it away from the opposition. Not to say that you can't throw the intern, but it's, they're, it's just they're strategy certainly here. both available. But we just saw we Brandon rails, come short rails, in this exact need, path, path so feeling that that's path the next girl. shot that would be played in go. the same path. Go, go, go. So why give him a chance to do the same thing twice? Try to get in there. Oh, man. And just a little bit. Heavy no, back four, yeah. but they are lying four. What path do you want? Well, now we need. Updates. We'll bring him to you all morning long. Weagle Epping in a 1 1 tie with Ashley Quick and Mike Armstrong, who won a bronze medal together in 2014 in Ottawa out of Saskatchewan. Meantime, it is Desiree Haas and Tyler Tardy up 3 0 over Greg Smith and Mackenzie Mitchell. Well, as expected with that stone sliding deep, it is that out turn that Brendan goes back to just having thrown in this path. Yeah, line a little. No, line's okay. Wait's good. Line's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait's good. Whoa. Curl. I kind of want it to die. We need it to curl. <laughs> You have three quarters? 
Do you get for a time? Yeah, I can definitely get on the in to the inside. Yeah. Like just through the house, just through. I think hack. Hack, okay. Yeah. Like I only have two, not even two thirds of it, but. We've seen that finish at the center line, though. I think you'll get there. Okay. So e I'll throw. I'll give you easy, like round hack. Okay. Okay, I think I need more though. Yeah. Well, that is a very long guard. It runs for a while before it makes its move. Whoa. Hair hot. Whoa. Whoa. Wait's good. Whoa. 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 Close. Yep. Yep. Yeah, what? Yeah. Hard. Straight. Whoa. <laughs> Great camera angle there, Kathy, to appreciate the curl yep. and watch the path. <laughs> and That's they are so lying the one. Bingo, bingo. They lying two, just the one for sure. I think top four. Maybe two. Yeah, it could be two. Yeah. <laughs> With hammer and three for Richard Schneider. But it's it's starting to get a bit of a run. Hair, yeah, because it's we've played that spot a lot. Yeah. Yeah, like honestly, I think if you do the same ice as me with hack, so the button's available. Hack, yeah. I mean, you could good. throw the intern. There's a ton of room, but again, they just haven't seen that path. Just, I was just gonna take like outside edge eight. Do you think that's enough? Can you take the inside of that red rock? Sure. And just a broom or two outside. Yeah, this rock should finish. So. They're playing the yeah. intern now. Probably about there. He was talking about the inside of the red. She wanted a, in the middle of the eight, but I think they've compromised in the middle. You're there right now. She's made a couple nice draws this morning already Close. and needs one here. Mine's good. Close. Final stone for Bobby Sauter in three with Bertrand Schneider with Hammer. Got to curl up a little more for shot stone, the tap, and it is shot rock, back button. Half rock. Yeah, well, they set up an angle, yeah. though, Three with quarters. that tap back. Honestly, like a third is like max, but it still probably gets it. Yeah. I think right there is. Yeah, I don't think you have to throw it too hard. Like, just, no, like, as if we can get firm. it out of the eight foot, it's good. Aim for half. I think, like, I don't think this is going to curl a lot. No, I agree. Here's a chance for some big there points. Is. You lose yeah. the shooter here, Kathy, with oh, yeah. the weight they're throwing. Shooter goes, but you can pick up a mid full, right? You sure could. I think there's potential of four. And some pretty good line by Bobby. If she doesn't tap those stones back, this isn't there. But with that little bit of tap back. Yeah, tighten her up, put me on the brush a bit here. Just, just a hair finish it. Well, she made a beauty in the first end. We didn't even think they could score. Made the angle slash to pick up one. And a chance yep. for a whole lot more here in three. Yep. Final stone, Shannon Burchard. Running back her own red stone Hard. just by the guard. How's the angle? One, two. My goodness, she is red hot this morning. How about five? Wow. What a great shot, such a great hitter. Bang, perfect. And right on by, put five on the board for Catlin Schneider and Shannon Burchard. And she's made a couple beauties in our feature. Yeah, high five, you bet. 6-1 at the Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship in Calgary. Are you ready, Kathy? I'm ready. You know what that green hammer means? Power play. Power play. Good. All right, so you see the difference. The stones out to the wings, corner guard, the team with hammer, which is Sauter Botcher, the yellow stone touching eight and 12. And Shannon Bircher trying the tick shot. And you can't remove any stones. The first three thrown. And that does stay in play, so that is a nice shot. 
That's a good option B. You're trying to play the tick, and Shannon had the appropriate weight. So it was sneaky. I came down like crazy. Yeah, I'd say you threw control yeah. almost, and it came down to And like unfortunately yeah. for Bobby and Brendan, they were down ready to throw at the other end, and you could have been sweeping that behind the T-line to try get it out of play so, yeah. to put it back into play. Take, uh, maybe one broom on the right of the center line just to hold it a little. Okay. But quick, hey? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And you see in our feature matchup, it is both Bobby and Shannon throwing stones one and five. Teams can choose in a game to change that end to end if they choose to. You don't see it very often. Off. Yeah, so. or we just go side four over here. Just kind of back back T, like butting forefoot so that they can't be go around and be shot. Like a little farther yeah. inside. Well, I think they're gonna come around and then we peel and then they're gonna freeze and we're kind of Yeah. Okay, sure. Thanks. I'm just... gonna throw six, so let's be cautious with this. Okay. Well, you know what? No. It's a bad idea. Okay, bite the eight. I'm gonna throw two. So I talked about a number of options. One of them was that you go around that corner guard, Little even leaving half your here. stone out. Probably Over. hair crossing the middle. Okay. And that is what they've decided to actually do. But the other consideration was going to the other side so that even a bury by Mine Brendan Botcher and Bobby Sauter would Whoa, not outcount the stone Henry, that they no. would throw to the forefoot, but then you've got extra rocks in play, and if you slide behind the T-line, they're jumping all over. So that's why they've elected to go around the corner. It's close, but it's got to dig. Okay. Not okay. It's not bad. We freeze, we peel. Just want to be. Higher. Yeah. What'd you get? Like 14? 6. Yeah. So yeah, 14. This Playing the was freeze. A 13 7. Okay. Top eight. Hey, just let's just dead bury it then. Go, go, go. Get shot. Get second shot. Well, if anything, mixed doubles will give Brendan an appreciation for his front end in his team game as he's out here <laughs> sweeping a lot as a skipper it in will. mixed doubles. For fitness, well, for cool. sure. Yeah. Okay. It's a good spot. Yeah, not bad. If they try and run it in, it, it's a tough one. Yeah. yeah. Park and Brad maybe smiling at that comment show, somewhere yeah. for the front end union. Yeah. <laughs> I bet they're getting a kick out of watching him sweep, yeah. hey? Oh, I'm sure they have <laughs> tips and tools on how to improve. Clean. Oh. Clean. Clean. Watch that side, Red Jen. And the red also spills in. And that'll be next up, as we will see Karak Martin and Brad Thiessen. And Darren Molding is also in, in mixed doubles as well. But it's the BKT Tires and OK Tire 2021 World Men's Curling Championship. As Vic and Cheryl and Russ back to the bubble. Kathy Goche in the bubble still. Never leaves. Hardest working woman in show business. <laughs> Uh, it will be very exciting to have a world championship again after last year. And in this case, both men's and women's determined Wait, already. Oh, okay, yeah, you got to go for line. Wait, there. Okay, well then. Line's good, close. Yep. Wait, there. Yep. I'm heavy. Okay, well. 
think we're better to overcurl a little. Okay. Nice weight. Beauty. Thanks. That's a good shot. 14 one. Nice weight. Yeah. I think that's a shot. If I get the top one, that's fine. Lisa Wego made a lovely shot when we were peeking over in three as they picked up three to lead 4-1 over Ashley Quick and Mike Armstrong. And battling back is Greg Smith and Mackenzie Mitchell versus Desiree Haas and Tyler Tardy. As we featured Desiree and Tyler yesterday in one of our feature games as they came up a bit short. One of the next gen teams, Kathy, coming up and having an opportunity. It's good over the last couple of years at events like the Canada Cup, they've brought some of the next gen teams in and often in a different building to work on mixed doubles and have exposure, but then also get to come into the building yep, yep. and watch the top teams play at the Canada Cup to really, really feed hard. that desire to play at a whoa, higher whoa, level. Whoa. And he'll stuff it. And the door opening for the Alberta team, Sauter Botcher with yeah, hammer here in four. A double in there. But we you think might. this one gets through? Well, no, if you can walk it down and put it there, you're safe. But any kind of a miss anywhere will be a pretty easy double. I'm just saying. And you if, think this double doesn't, this double jams, right? So if we go here, that's good? Well, that was my first thought was lose one over there, but Whichever one of that one and this one is closer, she can just nose and then we're never getting three anyways. So I think we may as well come in here and I like throw. it. I love it. I think I, so. The same same path, hey? Yeah, I thought it was a little soft to you. So you want a little less ice? Well, yeah, I think if I throw it good, we might not quite get there. Hey, and if I anything, like we have to overcurl that one now. Yep. So there, his concern is if he's a little bit higher. <sighs> There's a double opportunity. They talked about going over here, but for Shannon, there's an opportunity for a double on the other side or a nose on the other side. So they're going to try to place it right on top a little bit to the off side so that any hit on it okay, removes or good. jams onto the redstone belonging to Bertrand Schneider. Wait close. Okay. Go ahead. It's got to curl a bit, but you got to be here. Top eight. Go, 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 go. All the way, all the way, all the way. Go, 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 go. Good. Good. And a good you know, brush as they sit two, three, and four for now with Hammer. It's tough because he can't, it's tough to guard the pick and that. Uh, yeah. I think we just do this. I mean, yeah. worst case is do this and they have mm -hmm. a, like, they have a pretty tough shot for two. Yeah. They got to play the run for two. True. Or, or they got to play it soft. Yeah, sticking so, is good. Honestly, even if you roll out, it's fine. Throw that, like, for, probably just normal. Yeah. Is that correct, though? Because they, they can't hit this and get three. Yeah, I agree. This one out counts. They got to yep. play it onto here. Yep. Okay, let's just try to nose it. Well, Catlin just walked you through the scenarios. If you hit and roll out even on the stone that's biting the eight foot, any run that Bobby makes straight back her shooter will be biting the house but there's a redstone in the 12 foot that will outcount it so trying to remove the opportunities for three edge though then if you're showing that yeah you're firm curled so i'd like to be cautious with this yeah like i'm not gonna all right be soft with it i just don't want to hit it high okay for rolling let me know what i'm doing okay normal Heavy normal. Oh, oh. Clean. 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 Yep. Shannon Birchard, her final yep. stone in four. Hard. Good a little shot. flip inside. Nice. And considering the shot she's made already, that's kind of boring, isn't it? It's I mean, boring, <laughs> but it's very good. <laughs> she's had an outstanding morning so far. Or you can play just a little draw tap. You just yeah. got to move it a rock. I'll just tap this. Yeah, I think so. You can see that run back is not as easy with okay. that little bit of a roll from Shannon. I was getting quite a bit of curl coming in off mine. This pool's intriguing too, Kathy oh, Pool D, because Shannon will no, eventually no. take on Kristen Karwacki, their yeah. alternate, and Val Sweeting as well in this pool. So yeah. always interesting when you take on your team teammates. So I just put it behind the scoreboard. Just tell her to watch out. She joked on Instagram <laughs> that the gloves were coming off anyways. It was oh, go time, so. 
fun competition. It's great. Well, it's tough. We don't have time to run down there. Is T-Line in this path the same as everywhere else? So no guards out front, electing to play this shot just to tap it back enough to bring their Yellowstone into play for two. Get it there. Yeah, maybe six feet. Now some great numbers on her draws this morning. We saw it yesterday, has really good control of four foot weight. This one has to curl in a hurry. It's okay. Well, you heard Brendan say back line. She was looking for back eight. Yeah, yeah. She's made some nice draws this morning, not to be on that particular throw as we have a steal. And a 7-1 yeah. advantage for Burchard Schneider. Great. Well, she made a beauty in the first end. We didn't even think they could score. And a chance yep. for a whole lot more here in three. Okay. Just by the guard. How's the angle? One, two. My goodness, she is red hot this morning. How about five? Wow. It was a pretty awesome start for Shannon Burchard and Catlin Schneider as sure shot Shannon came to play this morning. Well, she's never had an issue throwing up weight. And when you throw up good weight, shot. good things can happen. Hit that a little bit different than they wanted to, but got a wonderful result. Good shot. So we weren't sure if she could score. Obviously, she did, getting the single. A little bit of action with the slash. And then here again, a chance to score. Not one, not two, not three, not four, yep. but five. Well, that opportunity presented when Bobby Sauter tapped their stone back, created a little bit of space. This is called and made for five. A big score and a big lead up 7-1 through four as they're looking to pick up their second win. As we check the numbers, Kathy, after four. Well, we've showed you those two wonderful shots by Shannon, which is why the lead is so huge. Look at her numbers individually. It's pretty impressive. After four is brought to you by BKT Tires, growing together. Some excitement in the morning draw as she's made some highlight reel shots. They lead by six. We'll step aside and return to our coverage after this. The Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship is brought to you by Sponge Towels Paper Towels, made for real life messes by OK Tire and BKT Tires, by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada, and by Home Hardware, here's how. Ah! Oh, what a wonderful shot, Carrie Anderson. Yeah. And Guju is good again. Woo! Kathy, have you heard of any of these players? Oh Will my this be any good? goodness, this will be a game. Imagine the uh, the trophy warehouses in these uh, homes. <laughs> Jennifer Jones, Brent Lang, Carrie Anderson, Brad Gushu, both want to know, that'll be fun. That's later on today, our feature at 1.30 p.m. Eastern time with myself and Kathy Goche, our TSN crew, and we thank all of our hardworking crew here in the Calgary bubble. It's been a long run, but we appreciate all of the hard work to bring you the sound and the pictures and to put up with Kathy hey. and, my, and myself as, as we move over now and focus on Sheet D, our feature. It is certainly Burchard Schneider in control up seven to one. So let's check in over on Sheet D and it is actually four to two. And that advantage is to the team of Tyler Tardy <laughs> and Desiree Haas as they're taking on Greg Smith and Mackenzie Mitchell. Yeah. We just saw a big up weight from Tyler, scattered a lot of red out of the forefoot, but left three red stones 
belonging to the team from Newfoundland and Labrador in the house. So Greg trying to now remove that yellow stone to lie four. Okay, good 11. I think it bounced back enough to touch the other one. For Greg Smith, Mackenzie Mitchell, it that is their first appearance together <laughs> here at the mixed doubles yeah. national curling championship. Greg just making his second Briar appearance. Yep. You see the years, 2018 and 2021 here in the bubble. Well, you have to go pretty far to find a player who loves the game and shows his enjoyment like Greg does on the ice. Good brushing, nice avoids the jam. And they'll lie four, and they have hammer Good. here in the fifth. Yeah, high fives, nice job. One or the other. You don't see two people, at least we have an early sweeping that quickly together, that hard on a particular shot. Um, I have been affirmed by the guard. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, you, you do. Oh yeah, you make that for fun. Half a rock? Is that calf? Okay, one shoulder. Sure. You got it. Desiree and Tyler are partners on and off the ice as well. A couple that curls. Makes it easy. Have some support from your partner when you're on like the road or traveling. And we saw Desiree back to back Scotties and Moose Jaw. She Probably was six and six still? with yeah. Corinne Brown okay. as her second. And then again here in Calgary, four and four record under the bubble. That was with Sarah Daniels. We covered it that year. There was Canadian juniors. Girl. Hard. Final stone. Got to remove some red. One, two, nearly three. Uh, wow, good try. Nice try. Okay. As she gets two to go. Oh, a really nice try. Yeah, you found one. <laughs> wow, did nothing? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah I know. Really oh, well. Good throw. Inside edge Gets the pair and that stone coming across the top just catches that back one a little bit too thick. Like a little, I know, but. I have backed up a little bit. So this will be the hit for three for the team from Newfoundland Labrador. It's almost sense, but I took about two inches outside the edge of the four. So like probably like here. Okay. Okay. Here you are. Nice and good. And Mackenzie making her national debut. We saw her at Canadian Juniors in Langley, BC, a four and six record for Newfoundland Labrador. Greg trying to make it curl, don't want to jam. And they will get the single. So a tough one, a chance to pick up a couple. The hit for three, but the jam. Probably and it a bit is Haas tardy leading for <laughs> three. Our national championship continues. The Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Curling Championship on TSN. A 4 3 advantage with Hammer for the young team out of British Columbia. You could argue the future of curling in that province. Tyler Tardy and Desiree Haas as Mackenzie Mitchell delivers. And worth mentioning, Kathy, yes, it's a national championship, a lot of pride on the line, chance to represent Canada, but a lot on the line. Whoever is Team Canada will go on to the mixed doubles worlds. Canada has not qualified yet for the Olympics. Has not. And that is huge. Oh. 10 teams will go. We know China is in as the host team. And from the upcoming world championships, we don't know where or when because of COVID, Hope to get a date and a location soon. However, no, they will compete to try get Canada <laughs> a spot. <laughs> which is kind of tough when you think we are the Thank defending you. gold medalists uh, with I know. John like Morris and Caitlin Laws. And we were okay. silver medalists at Worlds oh, last year, Jocelyn you, Peterman and Brett Gallant. But what have you done for me lately, I guess? So sure. Canada will have to come through again and secure a spot. It's close, a little heavy. Okay, well then. 
And we're back Where gate. Where are you? Back gate. Cool in. Starting to curl now. Curl and stick. A little rub, it's yeah. still yep. shot stone. Uh, yeah, Belonging to the team from Newfoundland Labrador. Yeah, shoot, that line I think was good. It just yeah. <laughs> need to find that way. <laughs> so opportunity to get down on top of that stone. Lie two. Also saw Greg at the Canadian mm -hmm. Juniors as well. Oh, we did. In Stratford 2016, he was five and four, and in Cornerbrook in his home province, three and six, back in 2015. Line's good. Sweet only. Should curl up nice. Yep. Hard. Hard thing to get. Low. Low, low, low. And this is one of those sheets that we have very oh, different okay. ways of how they got okay. here. In one case, you have a team representing Newfoundland right. and Labrador, a provincial nice. team of yeah. which there are 14 spots for teams like that. That's why you see they're cresting mm -hmm. on the front. And in the case of Desiree and Tyler coming in as a next gen team when one of the teams was unable to come. So trying to create opportunity for the right. younger members of the curling community to develop shot and that's that big run oh, back weight that he throws so very well reds disappear the three-time canadian junior champ nobody's ever done that before tyler tardy had such a run playing junior and now trying to make a name for himself out of british columbia in the men's game and was here well, we as the alternate for jim <laughs> cotter at the briar yep do you want a sweeper <laughs> You don't often see a 24-year-old do the swing the back delivery, the old Glenn Howard, right? It's take the shooter. He's a throwback. Or Tyler can do it. Thanks, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> well, it may be old school, but we all like did it at some all, point all out, uh, back in the day. I didn't. Well, okay, I wasn't well, very good though. I certainly did, and he's hanging on to it. And has some pretty good results with it. Again, the enjoyment of this young man is wonderful to watch. And he's been dominating Sports Center, still alive on Ram 1v1. They're going to retire his jersey up at Sports Center if he keeps winning. Well, and if you didn't see it, he made a wonderful round the horn shot at the Briar. And what made it so spectacular is the spacing between the stones that he was able to hit. There he goes. Oh, it's got to sit, it's got to sit. Where is it? Top four, just biting what? four. Just biting four. I could throw back line. Okay. Because it'll be a simple draw for two. Short. Back line to hack. Edge of the four. Maybe a little less. Oh. Curve oh. it. Trying yeah. to get the finish towards the center. This is Hard. the weight shot that we talk so much about. Only. The hack to bumper. If it's Hard. overthrown at all, it takes Hard. a while to go. But making that move. Look at him go. He throws. He sweeps. <laughs> Oh, I hate sweeping. <laughs> I, guess, I guess that's why Greg is a skip, right? Uh, a lot of sweepers just yell at me. Deep breaths. 
Merci. And so for Tyler, remembering that in mixed doubles, you're not looking to blank it out because then you lose last rock. Trying to find a way still to score two. Try to bury on this one and then have Desiree find a way to score two with her second, depending on what the team from Newfoundland and Labrador does. That may come out the other side. And it is shot stone, but you're right. Look at the curl. Pokes out the other side of that guard. Yeah. yeah, just kill it though. Yeah. Like there? Yeah. Think? You're gonna call a line. Yep. Let's get this in. <laughs> It'll go. Well, you can see from that angle quite a lot of that stone came out the other side. How much were you taking? Okay. Middle of the eight? Yeah. Okay, throw I throw board. Okay. I think I can curve it there. Okay. My hair softer with it though. Yeah, because I mean, we stepped it the whole way, so. Yeah. Sorry. That's fine. Whoa. Yep. Yes. Mackenzie Mitchell, Whoa. final stone for this team of Mitchell and Whoa. Smith. Here in six. Clean. That's a nice Atta shot from the young lady. Very nice throw. Great weight. Hold on. As the 19-year-old who lives in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, Labrador. Very nice. Very nice shot. Yeah. Much better throw. It's a good yeah. end. <laughs> Much better. So it is the draw. You, you can't even... Well, I guess you could... Tr yeah, you could try, I guess, suppose hit and roll in the back Ooh. and be shot. Oh, but off why the bottom? Yeah. The bottom, yeah. But I'm assuming it's the cold draw for a single. Well, she's thrown so many draws to the forefoot. Needs full eight. Final stone in six. It is the draw versus three. Would love to bite the four. Full eight will do it. Looks all there. Nice toss. Very nice. Lovely draw weight from the front end player for Corinne Brown out of BC. We saw at the Scotties. Nice draw weight here in our feature. It is 5 3. Haas and Tardy. There's a look at 24-year-old Skip Greg Smith, teamed up with Mackenzie Mitchell at Mixed Doubles. And how about a flashback? We talked about it. Ram 1v1. He's had a great run on Sports Center, and this was a great hit. And what a shot versus Nova Scotia. Sixth in back at the Briar. Well, we talked about his ability to throw up weight, tons of rotation, but the distance between the stones for the around the horn was considerable, but makes it for two brilliant. Yeah, the celebration, little fist pump there. I think his teammates were questioning the, the shot call, and I think when he got in the hack, he's like, hey, we're down 7-1, right? Let's, yes, let's he give did. It a he rip. actually said that. And it was pretty awesome. And as you can see in our feature, it is time for the power play. So the stones, so to the wings. And down by two, it is Mackenzie Mitchell and Greg Smith calling the power play. They're throwing the red stones, yellow stones, belonging to the tandem from BC. And this one is from Desiree Haas as she'll try to come Great down job. and freeze up to that red stone. Nice one. Thanks. Yeah, I thought like a hair less. I tried to add a bit on release. But... I came off quite like a bit girl. actually in the middle. It curled nice. Came off way more than it did in the other spots. I aimed at the um, the logo after New Holland at the edge of the hack there. That's where I I, I don't know where that is for you. It's not. We got lots. We got lots. Oh, you're, you need backing. Talking about Tyler and Desiree about what they're aiming at on the bumper, often utilizing things on the bumper if you're going to have a sweeper so that you have Our a break. more specific target than somewhere in the eight foot. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Oh, 
fine. Can't hit you. Do you got a time on that? Just loop around again? I don't know. I'll see you just cruising on there. On there? Okay. Yeah. You're the comment, can't hit yet. Three stones, Kathy, have to be delivered, and then you yeah, can start to remove some granite. We have enough room on the intern. We know that path. To go this way? Yeah, okay. I like that. A little firm. Yeah. Just line right now. Hold on. Line on me. Line will be good. Back eight. Straight now. Straight? Yeah. Back eight. Yep, 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 yep. Hard. Okay. Finished a little more. Score. This one? Sorry. That's fine. I'll let them deal with us. I'd rather you bump it then. <laughs> It is time now for the team comparison brought to you by New Holland, proud sponsor of Curling Canada. Well, the overall numbers favor the team from Newfoundland and Labrador with that edge and advantage. When we came to the game, there was the opportunity, though, for three that jammed. And so it is the timing of shots that have made the difference so far in this game. That little tap back, there is some separation and opportunity here for Greg to remove that stone and roll over under the corner if he wishes. You got room. Oh. I got to skinny it. Yep. Yes. Hard. Hard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just by the corner guard. There's the tap, and he'll stick the shooter. Oh, jeez. What do you like? How much do I got? Could rip that back. It's hard to miss everything. Up to like a hair high? Yeah. I don't hate it. And if it stuffs on that side yellow, it's pretty good. Okay. So running the guard. Yeah. Like it's not like a jump at the end or anything? No, I did throw two seconds too fast. Yeah, but. but <laughs> I just... Todd or Tardy, big up weight. Uh -oh. I don't know if he could have done that if he tried that 10 times. Okay. Well, this ice is very much. Weight uh, restrictor. More. So when he let it go, is where the rock's going to stay. It did not have a chance to curl up at all. And he did say that there was no way to miss everything, but I don't think he saw that coming. Have to park that Get one. A, a tough on one this, for Tyler Tardy. What? Get a time. Yep. Okay. And a big opportunity now with Hammer for Mackenzie Mitchell, Greg Smith in the seventh end. One's good. Trying to spread the stones out to lie four. Knowing Tyler's upweight ability and the liveliness of the stones, knowing that Tyler will play another big upweight shot. Just trying to have as much space between the stones as they can. 14-3. What? 14-3. Okay. So four in the house, nothing okay. out front. So it is definitely time to remove some granite. I don't think it's there. <laughs> you can try to play a role like somewhere over here that they can set Yeah. It. Yeah, it's like here. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to throw tons of weight. You do or don't? Don't. Okay. What do you Double think? Double and like roll. Normal? Nine? Yeah. And it started out as our feature this morning. And it's good. Broom Taps. Like and again. thank you. Yeah, good game, guys. Good, good luck. For a good game. Yeah, you too. No handshakes, obviously with COVID Thanks, under the bubble. So 8-2 it is. Shannon Bircher, Catlin Schneider beating Bobby Sauter, Brendan Botcher. 8-2 as they improve to 2-0. No. no.
never. Facing four, back to our feature now, Tyler Tardy trying to make the double. Falling. And again, two good. tough ones there for Tyler. Just gets the okay. single rock to go. So for now, the power play has paid off, at least thus far here in seven. And so Greg will again try to go to the wings, but for Desiree, you're probably looking at the attempted freeze on her final stone to negate the ones that are out in the 12 foot. So going same path, same side, he just same threw line. in. It's an inner city rocket. <laughs> Whoa. Sit down. It's there. 13 8. I gotta take it behind it so there's no pocket. Uh, you're, you're, you're behind it. I'm... Uh. <sighs> Sorry. Shoot. Crotch it. <laughs> oh, that was something else. Yeah, I think the doubles first, though. Yeah. Greg, your tolerance is late. Well, if you throw it, if you throw it that heavy. What turn you like? Uh, the end. Okay. So electing to play the double at the back. And if she sticks right there, should be second shot and would force Mackenzie Mitchell to make a nose hit for the three. Like that ice? I think that's Max. Does it matter which one she hits first, Kathy, or just hit the crotch, they both go, is it a big deal? Actually, these are harder to, to than people think they are because they're right beside each other. The one on the left is a little bit higher, so you want to catch that one a little bit thicker. So in seven, their final stone without hammer. Curl. Hard. Sweet. And bang, and the yeah. action. And it spins too Hit. far with the Draw weight, yeah. so it'll be a Set draw this. for three. Should be the same, okay? Um, yeah. Could so play the hit, I guess, but he just played the draw, move. so. Oh, gosh, mm -hmm. yeah, you're already lying too. Yeah. Or like high peel or anything, but. This team knows the path, knows the draw weight. And as Mackenzie Mitchell settles in. Fantastic, 92% for the 19 year old, well done. So the intern draw on the way to score three and take the lead here in Calgary. Shot Max. And it's a great example of why our numbers are so high today. Fabulous draw weight, fabulous draw numbers, three on the board. Nice shot, Mac, as Greg Smith says, and they got the lead by one. Down to the eighth end in our feature, oh, power play. <laughs> And you see the power play was used the previous end and it was used successfully by Greg Smith, Mackenzie Mitchell as they scored their three and lead. So now the power play being used by Tyler Tardy and Desiree Haas as we come home here in eight. Well, forcing the play to the wings, trying to generate offense. Well done last go, end Greg. for Desiree and Tyler. Try to create that Hard. as well. This is the attempted All the kick. Way. Each team gets the opportunity to have one power play per game. You obviously need hammer to call the power play and you cannot use it in an extra end. That's fine. Well, the tick shot just underthrown, but the Pro side for Newfoundland and Labradors. They've given themselves a center guard. 
Okay, you gotta wait though, you're, you're nosing it. And can't remove that stone from play, but they can move okay. it around, and they will. Okay. Out turn, yeah. Yep. Oh, you blocked his intern. Yeah. You're missing. Taking the out turn then. Like. It's probably like yeah. Okay. It's over a bit more, I think, a little less. Lots of line. Whoa. It looks, uh... Line's good. Looks pretty good. No, 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 no. I think I just let it sit. Yeah, I gotta sit. Okay. And nice he'll shot. bury it, top four. It's pretty good. 14-3. Not sure I can follow that. I'm thinking the run, I'm not sure I can follow it. Is it because he's a lefty? Is that yeah, why he says that? that? Then he hits and... Let me come around our guard. For Tyler, okay. I think it's a combination of two things. Uh, One no. of them is he is a left-handed thrower. How yeah, do you like that? Okay. But more importantly, their release and what chase, happens to chase. their stone on release is very well, different. You, you'll get curl here. Okay. We're gonna bump it a bit then, eh? It's a little tough to bump. I think we want to get at the angle first. Okay. You okay with that? Yeah. Want to hold the broom on this one? Sure. So a target for Tyler, nothing stops Desiree from running down and sweeping once he lets go, or for Tyler to get Mine up and Tyler. sweep. Rate's good. Hard. Little bump. Hard. Little bump. Hard line. Hard line. Hard weight, too. Go, go, go. Okay, whoa, whoa. Goodbye. No, no, no. Good. It's pretty good. Nice. We're going to roll to here. So I was just diving for the guard. I'd One, say goodbye. this is probably the shot. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Do you want a sweeper? No. Uh, what way? You're coming this way. I think it's the shot. Okay. Right there? I just have to get... Do you think we can tap it? Yeah. Well, mine warped. Yeah. Throw just like back eight. Yeah. Yeah. That? Middle of the eight. Well, it does warp. This is such a tricky shot because to throw back eight, it may not get the movement. And you can see it won't take very much to touch that Yellowstone up for shot, which it currently is not. Hi, do you want to call time? I'm good with this. If you want to call a time, you can. Okay, no, this is fine. Well, that says to me that his inner voice is saying, I'm not sure this is the right call. And sometimes calling a timeout just slows things down. You look at things better. You may Let's wind up with the same shot, but it just gives you that second opportunity. Go. Yeah, yep. maybe catch your breath if you're Greg Smith. Right. He's been sweeping his heart out here. Hard. You got to go. Hard. Uh, I think you're on it. Ours. Okay. It's not... That's the fine. end of the world. No. Nope. Yeah. Want me to sweep? Um, can you call a line on this one? I'll throw like hack. Okay. What do you think for broom? Like. So the short little run yeah, back. I don't think it's going to do Trying much. to get to the inside actually, Brian, and roll underneath. Like okay. Because they know that that's exactly what Greg Smith would play on his second if they leave it there. And they've seen enough rocks in this cool, path. Okay to know what it will do.
So quieter wait for Tyler. Little Close. firm. Yep. So inside little tap on the red, roll in. Hard line. Hard line. Hard. Well done. Ooh, just rolled a bit too far. Nice try. That'll be third shot stone. Shot rock. Sorry. Still belongs to them on the home hardware button. Just that center path, it curls so very hard. Tyler, even at the hog line, was still on the nose, but with that extra finish of this ice and with these stones, just overrolled. Like a little less, Mac. I think, like, close to edge. So looking for the freeze. Great, too, to see Greg and McKenzie. And the one thing covering the Canadian juniors, Kathy, is that they brought in mixed doubles That's as a okay. component. So a lot of these juniors have had the opportunity to play mixed well, doubles for quite a few a years. If you don't qualify for the main pool, rather than sending you home, they pair you up Hard with line. people from different provinces and territories, and yep. you do play mixed doubles together. All the way. Hard! Increasing exposure of this discipline. Go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. Boy, that oh. curls. And only one of their game was on the ice until now as Weagle Epping, another win, 10-3 over Ashley Quick and Mike Armstrong. Remember watching Mike at the 2012 Briar in Saskatoon with Scott Manners. As with Greg Smith, Tyler has been down this path before. Some pretty good draw numbers. Needs to be right on top of his own. Thank you there. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. Nice. And right down to the face, and they will lie too. With Cut Hammer out. here in eight, down by one. And Greg Smith, Mackenzie Mitchell will use their timeout. Hmm. Does this give you anything? No. No. You'd have to backswing, wouldn't you? I'm not doing that. Um. No. I think you just freeze, don't you? Here? You kind of have to. Yeah. You kind of do. Mm. I think so. I think that's all we have. Yeah. So lock it there. And we'll take the button draw. So here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Nice week, but even. Cool. I agree. Small piece of real estate, but need to lock it on the corner. Yeah. For this reason. I think so. Could run that guard back. Wouldn't hurt us. If they're shot. Oh, wait, they I'm, be shot. <laughs> I'm gonna be shot, but we have to hit two. I mean, this is a really hard shot, though. Yeah. Should not bounce anyway. Might have something off that corner. Mackenzie can back in Alberta competing. She was at the Canada Winter Games just north of here, Red Deer, Alberta, in 2019, skipping for Newfoundland Labrador. A three and seven Mine's record good. that year. Oh. And needs a great shot here. Her final stone in eight right now. Yep. It is Haas and Tardy counting two. Oh. This has to Whoa. try limit that and be in there. On and off. Oh, sit down. No, oh, just over jump oh, that. She shot, but it did not yeah. need the extra sweeping. And that's hard when you don't have somebody in the bad. house and you're right on top. Hack. <sighs> hack. Was so the redstone accessible. They just have to make it go away. Don't even have to hold the shooter. Sorry, just got to score there too and pick up the win. Okay. What's that? Edge of four. I think that's a little generous.
The Game Story, brought to you by Tim Hortons. Get your Tim's run without the run. Order delivery today through the Tim Hortons app. An opportunity for three and five that they only wound up getting one out of Newfoundland and Labrador, but the Haas rollout in seven left the draw for three. That's why the edge right now is Newfoundland and Labrador, but in trouble. And a lot of time for both these teams as Desiree's going to come back down and chat with Tyler. Yeah. See, I don't think we give the same ice for a second and a half more. I'm saying yours got a lot of curl, though. Yeah, but I wasn't, I wasn't firm board, right? You want to throw firm board? I like board. Okay. Board, I, I still think you're around here. Yeah. No, I like it. Okay. Wasn't a discussion at all about what is the right shot selection. It's more what is the weight that we're going to throw to remove that stone. But you can see it is wide open. Yeah, my in should run pretty much the same as your out, so <laughs> yeah. I like this. You got it. It's a it's not out. <laughs> it's okay. Listen, there's no and again, the luxury does not have to hold the shooter. Fantastic numbers for Desiree. She just needs one more. A little more than Bottle stone and eights. Well, easy, easy, easy. Well, curl. Trying to take advantage of the power play and pick up a win. <laughs> Tyler Tardy to get it to curl. Away it goes. Two on the board and a win. Good luck this week. For the team from BC is Desiree Haas, Tyler Tardy. Pick up the victory, a close game. 7 6 as we'll step aside and wrap up our coverage next from Calgary. The Home Hardware Canadian Mixed Doubles Championship is brought to you by OK Tire and BKT Tires. By Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like it. By Tim Hortons. Get your Tim's run without the run. Order delivery today through the Tim Hortons app. And by Home Hardware. Here's how. Whoa, whoa. Trying to run this back into the pile. Good Pretty good resumes coming up in our next feature game. When you got eight Scotty's titles, six Briar titles, Jennifer Jones, Brent Lang taking on Carrie Anderson, Brad Gushu. And that's what, just over an hour away. So don't go too far. 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. Myself, Kathy Goche, have you covered at the home hardware. Canadian Mixed Doubles Curling Championship. From right here, it is the curling capital this year. It is Calgary, Alberta, as we continue our coverage in the bubble. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in just over an hour's time right here on TSN.